Hey everyone, welcome back. In this ISTQB foundation sample exam question and answer, I'm going to cover another five exam questions with detailed answers and explanations. Watch this series completely. This is definitely going to help you in your ISTQB foundation exam journey. So the question, first question of this video says you were given task. Okay. So you were given a task to analyze and fix causes of failures. Okay. So analysis and fixing the cause of failure in a new system to be released. Which activity are you performing? Right. So analyzing something, analyzing the causes and fixing the causes more of a development activity and who does it and what sort of activity it is. It is basically a debugging activity. So if you see the options here, first one is the correct answer because straight away analyzing and fixing causes causes is not a software testing activity is not a requirement elicitation is not a defect management. So obviously debugging is the correct answer for analyzing and fixing causes of failures. So you are performing debugging. So A is the correct answer. Okay. Moving to the next one in many software organizations, the test department is called the quality assurance department. Okay. Is this sentence correct or not? And why? Okay. So test department is called as QA. This is absolutely not correct, right? So there is a contradiction. QA quality assurance is different and testing is different. So first of all, when you know that both of them are different, then first two options are anyways not correct, right? So first two says it is correct. It is correct. So they are gone. So out of C and D, you have to pick what is the correct answer. Okay. So we can straight away mark A and B because we know that testing department and quality assurance are not same. So C option, let's see, it is not correct, right? Testing is something more. Testing includes all activities with regard to quality. QA focuses on quality related processes. Let's go to the D option. It is not correct. QF is focused on quality related processes while testing concentrates on demonstrating that a component or system is fit for purpose and to detect defects, right? So this is the correct option option number D because this is not correct. QA is more focused on quality related processes, right? So quality assurance, assurance is more about quality related processes while testing software testing concentrates on demonstrating that the component or system is fit for purpose and to detect defects. So that's where the difference is between QA and testing. Third one is not correct because it says testing is something more. Testing includes all activities with regard to quality. No, testing does and include all activities with regard to quality. That is why this is not correct. C option is not correct. Testing is more about demonstrating the component or system is fit for purpose. If all activities about quality is not covered by testing because quality assurance is also there, which focuses more on quality related processes. Okay. So the correct option is D in this particular case. Now moving on to the third question, a phone ringing in a neighboring cubicle distracts a programmer, causing him to improperly program the logic that checks the upper boundary of an input value. Okay. Later, during system testing, a tester notices that this input field accepts invalid input values. So there was a distraction because of the phone ringing developers doing some programming. He got distracted and improperly programmed the logic to check the upper boundary. Okay. And because of that, the, the field started accepting the invalid input values when tester was doing system testing. Which of the following correctly describes an incorrectly coded upper bound? Okay. So there was, this was incorrectly coded by the developer and when the tester is finding any discrepancies, it is called as defect. We have already understood that. So straight away without going to the answer options itself, we can straight away say that the correct option is D, which is a defect. It is not a failure. It is not an error. It is not the root cause, right? So tester is basically doing the system testing. Developer has introduced something by mistake. Tester is finding that mistake during the testing. That means it's a defect, right? It's not something which is which has gone into the uh, prod or resulting in an error or failure. It's basically accepting invalid input values. That's why it is called as defect. It is not crashing the system. It is not erroring out. Okay. So that's why correct option is D. Now moving to the 
fourth question of this particular video now consider the following test wear okay so this is the test wear below test charter this session time one hour what you have to do explore registration page with different sets of incorrect input data to discover defects related to accepting the registration process with the incorrect input right so that's basically what the intent is to discover what you have to do on the registration page with different set of incorrect input data to discover any defects that are related to the registration process wherein registration becomes successful even with the incorrect input now which test activity produces a test where as an output now this test where which of these activities below that you see will produce this particular test where right so this table that you are seeing here if you are preparing this what activity in these four you are performing which will produce this particular test wear okay so if you see this particular list here test planning won't produce this particular charter right this is more of what exactly we need to explore with what to discover what right so that is not part of the test planning so this is wrong option test monitoring and control this also is a separate activity altogether test analysis won't produce this sort of document as well so correct answer is test design okay so in test design you get this type of test where as an output wherein you basically have clear understanding of what exactly you are going to do in terms of exploring what with what set what set of data and to discover what so the correct answer in this particular case for fourth is test design okay now moving to the fifth question which of the following is best example of how traceability supports testing okay so here they are asking how traceability supports testing we have to select one option out of these four so let's quickly go ahead and eliminate the answers that are absolutely incorrect and we can eliminate so performing the impact analysis of a change will give information about the completion of the test right that that is absolutely baseless and nothing related to traceability as such so we can cross that out this is not the correct answer analyzing the traceability between test cases and test results will give information about the estimated level of residual risk so traceability between test cases and test result is not going to give any estimate of of residual risk because if we are just looking at the test cases and the test results we are just looking at the traceability that is not going back to the actual requirement right so this is also not correct option analyzing the traceability between test case and test result is not going to give an estimate on the residual risk okay so that's gone now performing the impact analysis of a change will help selecting the right test cases for regression testing okay this looks close to the answer but let's go and see the fourth one as well analyzing the traceability between the test basis the test objects and the test cases will help in selecting test data to achieve the assumed coverage of the test object right now traceability between test basis test object and test cases will help in selecting test data no that's not the purpose of traceability this is not going to help in selecting the test data to achieve the coverage right so that is also correct so the correct answer is c uh, that is also incorrect d is incorrect correct answer is c performing the impact analysis of a change will help in selecting the right set of test cases for regression testing right that's where the traceability supports testing how if you are doing an impact analysis of a change right and based on the impact analysis you have came up with a particular level of risk associated with the change okay so if the change is you know high risk then you know because of the traceability you will be able to select the right test cases that will help in testing this particular change now this impact analysis whatever impact analysis has been done based on that the risk will be defined and based on the risk then you will be able to associate or help in selecting the right test cases for regression testing against that particular change so that's where traceability basically supports testing and there are other factors as well but in this particular four cases this is the only option which is correct wherein traceability supports testing traceability also has a lot of other benefits but out of this question this is the correct answer okay so that's all for this particular video on istqb foundation exam questions and answers with explanation in the next video i'll cover another five questions thank you see you in the next one